so today um i'm going to be making a little bit of like a, a secondary toothpaste it's actually an aloe vera gel and um, it's supposed to be very good for um gum health and healing your gums um it's antibacterial and it's anti-inflammatory um and it's non-toxic although you should not swallow it if you can help um because it's got a little bit of essential oils and stuff in it but just like any toothpaste or mouthwash don't swallow it you swill it around and you spit it out um another thing that i'm starting today is um oil pulling um this is the practice where you put about a tablespoon or two of oil in your mouth um most people use coconut oil <coughs> and you swill it in and out your mouth and all around your teeth through your teeth as much as you possibly can um and the oil helps to remove plaque and um, picks up all the bacteria and other nasties that are hanging out around your teeth and in the little tiny gaps between your teeth and your gums so it's supposed to be one of the most healing things you can do um i just really don't like coconut oil so i'm not going to be using it but anyway here's a recipe for my um tooth gel and uh we'll just see how it goes so to about a tablespoon of aloe vera gel i'm gonna add half a teaspoon of um baking soda bicarbonate of soda and a couple of teaspoons of drops each of peppermint and clove oil and I'll just use that as a kind of secondary toothpaste um and that's on top of the oil pulling um and the mouthwash that i made a couple of weeks ago which I should probably make again. Um, I think it's really important to keep making the mouthwash probably every couple of weeks to make sure that it's bacteria free. I um, definitely don't want to be introducing more bacteria into your mouth. Yeah, I don't find oil pulling very easy. Um, coconut oil is definitely not an oil that I get on with very well, um, either on my skin or in my diet or and apparently not in my mouth either as an oil pulling oil um next best one is sesame oil which puts a protective barrier over the teeth so i'm going to be using that um see if i can put up with it if not then i know that olive oil does work um nowhere near as well as the um coconut oil because it's not high in um cholesterol and apparently it's those fats that really draw out the bacteria and absorb them all and that's why coconut oil is so good um so yeah it's kind of unfortunate that i really just can't stomach it for more than a few seconds anyway we'll just keep track of how this uh, new regime is working my teeth are definitely already feeling a lot better and cleaner um, with the use of the mouthwash every day and the water pick every day as well um obviously giving up smoking has helped a lot i think that's probably number one bad boy when it comes to um your gums receding it seems to really do a lot of damage and also it's not great for the bone loss so um it's just been generally all round bad for your teeth so the other thing i guess um i want to talk about i've been watching a little bit about and hearing a lot about is um mewing which is um i'll put a link to it underneath um to dr mike mew's uh, youtube channel um it's a way of um correcting your jaw your teeth and postural alignment um all of these things can lead to wonky teeth wonky face and um, breathing problems sleep apnea um all kinds of jaw and temporomandibular problems um and it's a very interesting and apparently it's been the thing that's taken the internet by storm over the past year or so i guess in lockdown people have got time to just practice pushing their tongue against the roof of their mouths anyway it seems to make sense for me and i'm going to try and incorporate it and remember to do it whenever i'm just sort of resting and not doing anything else um there's obviously quite a lot to it there's lots of postural things there's ways of walking and all sorts so i'm i'm quite interested to dive into the videos and have a look at what it's all about um 
I wonder if any of you guys have tried to mew in and whether you've had any good effects from it. Um, he does say at one point in one of his videos it can take up to 10 years for a fully um, grown adult to see any major um, remodeling of their face or super improvements in their palette and their breathing. Um, I suppose it depends on how serious the problems are that you have in the first place. Um, anyway, it's interesting. I'm going to add it into my sort of dental hygiene routines. Um, since it's really the state of my teeth and my bones that started me off on this whole journey. Um, and so, yeah, I will be um, discussing a bit about diet and supplements and things like that to help with those as well. And, and we'll just try a multi-pronged approach to um, bone density and gum and teeth health. Um, yeah, to try and retain as many of my own teeth as I possibly can for as long as I can, really. Okay, it's a bit of a disjointed video today. <laughs> I think it's probably just having a bit of a disjointed day. Um, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, have a good one and keep your teeth clean.